Hello and welcome back to The Zach and Buzz Review. review. And yes, we're here for another stonking review. Oh yes. Okay, another product review. And this product I've been wanting to get my hands on for some time. Yes, you've been looking forward to doing a review on this yeah, product. Even before it. you even got the product. Exactly. <laughs> you've already read the title of this one, so you kind of know what we're reviewing on this, oh, I'm yes. sure. It's very and exciting. It, it, I am very security minded, okay? Mm. And you can't get near our property without tripping, tripping on something. something. There are infrared beams, there are CCTV cameras. cameras, there's all sorts around the place because I think prevention is better than cure. If you stop things from happening, that is the best thing you can do. So anyway, there is an alarm system that I've wanted for some time mm -hmm. and we've actually got one now. Yes, so. you've been looking forward to doing this review about this certain article. Oh yes. For so good. long, and we finally got it. There you go. So there's, let's there's, go. There it is. What is it? But it also comes with this. It's, it's a, a, a two-part. It's a, two a, a two-part. Uh, I've got to thank you for this because it uh, was a Christmas present. It was a Christmas present, and um, it's an indulgence. But I'm, I'm really pleased to see how this goes. Anyway, it's a busy alarm mine. Da, 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 da. Uh, basically, that's the bad boy itself. A nice bit of metalware yeah. there. No electronic mm -hmm. parts. Yeah, no batteries to just run a out. nice. If the Wi-Fi goes out, mechanism. that's the thing. See, with CCTV cameras, they're great. Mm -hmm. Power goes out, you can have backup power. Wi-Fi goes out, you've got no signal. I've got infrared beam trip wires. Again, power goes out. They've got a backup battery system, but mm -hmm. you know they're all relying on electricity. Power. Electricity. And power. Busy alarm mine. No batteries. No Wi-Fi. Metal. Just metal. Good old-fashioned trip wire technology. Um, so anyway, you mount this up, and then it comes with a little trigger. This is the the, tri the trigger clips are held on here. There's a little split pin as well that you can use. Um, so what you need to do is, I'm going to explain this in a second. If I, if you find the trigger, the trigger slip, okay. Go, to set this, we will show you in a video shortly. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea is you pull up Grab against that and spring, pull. and there should be a little slide. There you go. Okay. You got it. Set. And that is set. And you think set for what? What does it do? Okay. So you would have on this ring a trip wire, which mm -hmm. we will show you. And then when the trip wire gets pulled, it will pull that out of the busy alarm. Mind you your hand. That. No, I'm not going to pull it. You're just going to. There you go. And then the busy alarm will slam down. But, but what does it do? What does it slam onto is the part question. Part two. Part two. Okay, part two. What do we have in here? <gasps> Look at these little beauties. <laughs> Look at these. 12 bore shotgun cartridges. Or blanks. Blanks. They're blanks. Okay. I will stipulate that they are blanks. These are blanks, okay. And there are 10 of those in the packet. 10 in the packet, blanks. So I'm not going to put one in here, but what do they do is they slot in. So the... The fact that the busy alarm mine is the blanks will fit mm -hmm. and then they drop down into the base mm -hmm. and then the firing pin yep. is set and when that trip wire is pulled the firing pin goes down, bang, 12 bore shotgun cartridge goes off. And of course it's designed that if you have a live shotgun cartridge it won't fit the mine, you can't get exactly. into them because otherwise you would be turning this into a like anti-personnel mine where you... Which is a big no-no. <laughs> big no-no. This is to... Point downwards at the floor, trip wire. Makes it, is, it is an alarm, it not a loud, loud noise. Not a trap. It's an alarm, not a trap. This is not something that you point towards somebody and. Uh, with evil intent. With evil intent, no. So, anyway, let's put that back in there, gently. So, perhaps before we take a step outside, yep. we should discuss pricing. Oh, yeah, prices. Right, so I didn't get this, you got this for I me. I got this. How much was the busy alarm? Busy alarm mine, current retail price is £21.35 off of Amazon. Okay. And for the, for the for the blanks, interestingly enough, there's tin in the packet, and you get a nice decorative tin. Tin, the, the, I could use that tin after I've used it. Exactly, exactly. Hi, hi, ideally, apart from our test product test, mm -hmm. I don't want to hear any of these go off at all. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Anyway, but for <laughs> Why, tin, buying something for it not to be used, I guess. That's that's prevention. Remember, guys, prevention is better than cure. So, actually, the blanks were £22.99, £22 which come in a pack of 10, which you again can get off of Amazon. And keep them out of reach of children in a safe place. So all in all, you've kind of got yourself set up with your basic, unless you're going to get more blanks, under 50 quid. Yeah, but that's up. the thing, you see, if you're going to buy more blanks, you're either going to buy them for one of two reasons. One, because you've bought more busily alarms. So True. if you've bought 10 of these, you need 10 of these. To have them all rigged up. Yeah. But if you're only going to have a, one or two of these, then 
ideally. You really have to weigh up how many. The only need. time you're going to be buying these is if somebody keeps tripping your alarm mines off. Yeah, and once they once they've tripped it off once, they're not going to want to do it again. Well, I have seen other people where they have uh, set these up down their alleyways between their houses. Wow. Uh, going to entrances to garages and things. Now, what you've got to bear in mind with something as explosive like these are, you want to make sure that everybody in your household knows <laughs> yeah. where the trip wire is. I'm, I'm going to have a look at these because I haven't actually had a Again, had Remember, a they are live, so... Uh, don't hit them with a hammer. Don't hit them with a hammer and don't, handle with care. Don't drop them. Handle with care, don't drop them. Um, so, yeah, so you would set these up. And, wow. uh, for That's example, so, cool. so if you've got a narrow... Uh, passageway that you think that uh, somebody of uh, uh, ill repute is going to malicious intent with malicious intent to burgle your premises or your garage and steal all your Ryobi uh, tools. tools off you uh, you <laughs> might wanna, like that link to the other videos yeah, you might want to <laughs> set one of these up uh, I would also suggest that you set it up kind of uh, waist waist to chest height okay. not not garroting height uh, <laughs> And not low. I can just see how all this could go wrong in so many yeah. ways. And don't set it up low where the cats or dogs are going to set it off. Good point. Or badgers, for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So look after your wildlife. You're thinking people. human height. Human so height. Should we should we set this up and give it a test? Yes. Yeah, so let's see if we can capture something in the wild. Yay! Let's do it. So here we have the Bisley alarm, and we've attached it to a post. It basically only just takes two screws into a post or anywhere you want to set it up so you can put this into a concrete post if you put the correct uh, raw plug fittings in aim it directly down at the ground as well now here you have these two chains these chains are so that you don't lose these two items that's the trigger pin if you like and this one is the safety split ring I'll show you what they're for uh, the reason that you don't want to detach this and just have it connected to the trip wire is because when this gets tripped this could end up flying off. I mean, ideally it'll stay on the end of the trip wire, but there's nothing to say that this won't just fly off and you'll never see it again. That's why you've got the safety chains. So now I can pull this up. You could put an extra bit of cordage on this if you wish to help. You want to pull this up until you see the notch appear and then you can put the trigger pin in. This is the safety pin, we we'll put that in. Okay, this means if the trigger pin gets accidentally triggered while you're loading it, the split pin will stop it from firing. Then we want to get our blank round here, and that just drops in. Just put that in gently. Get that pin up a little bit. There you go. All right, so we've got the safety pin in there. Trigger pin, there you go. So we have now got our loaded charge, our trigger and our safety pin at this point we take the safety pin out and now it's loaded and ready and it will stay like that until it's tripped so let's see if we can catch anything with our Bisley alarm mine Wow, well that was pretty <laughs> effective. Oh, I've got to thank Dennis again oh, for Dennis, helping out the second in that time demonstration. That he's, the second time he's helped us out. I want to get Dennis back as, more, what a guy. as often as possible. He's, he's going to have to take a little bit of a break because he's got to recover his uh, left ear. Oh, his left ear, was it? Yeah, it did kind of take a bit of its toll. Did he tell you that, did he? Uh, maybe. I can't, <laughs> can't, can't, yeah. Uh, but yeah that, <laughs> he's recovering. That went off with a real... That had a kick in it, didn't it? I mean, look, look at the... Uh, <laughs> That's what, the what, I, what I did discover is when this went off, the cartridge splayed the plastic of the cartridge underneath this, mm -hmm. so it's virtually impossible to take the spent cartridge out unless you use a sharp knife uh, just to trim that off 
and then you can get the cartridge out. And uh, we go. can see from that actual video that we just saw that that went off. It certainly did. <laughs> and I've got you, to... If that goes off, <laughs> you're going to know. I'm going to know. Yeah, you would hear that at a distance. Mm. Yeah, mm. and especially if you've got that set up, which I know people have because I've seen other people uh, that have used these. If you imagine that in a closed area, like between two houses, in a back alleyway, something like that, the sound would be absolutely magnified. Definitely. You know? um, so, yeah, the the thing with this is uh, it's not a toy, so be seriously, you know, be careful with it, what you're doing with it. Safety is always a priority. When we set the trip wire up, as you saw, um, because of Dennis, we wanted to make sure he was safe. So we set it up at chest height so Dennis could trigger it with his hands, mm -hmm. okay? And also I used a white nylon cord on it so it was visible. Obviously, what I would recommend is a strong gauge, you know, heavy gauge, probably nylon fishing wire, something that is yeah. not as visible. Which is not included, yeah, not included when this. you buy these. Um, and, uh, and, and set it up, you know, sort of chest to waist, waist height. Mm -hmm. The idea is you just got to think that somebody who doesn't know that trip wire is there is just going to come wandering straight out there. They're being stealthy. They're, ha ha, I'm up to no good. Exactly. And then... Bang, Wallop. off it goes, you know. Mm. There you go. I think it's brilliant. So Smashing. Wh wherever you want an alarm system set up where you don't have to have any power, any Wi-Fi, anything like that. This boom. is the tool for you. And again, can we just review the price on this? Yes. So they were kind of roughly both two separate items. Yep. So Bisley and Arm Mine was around £21. Okay. And the set of 10, 10? blank shells was around £23. £23. So... For just under 50 quid, you're kitted out. Exactly. Job done. I'm impressed. Well done. And that's got me sorted out for, for a while. I hasn't mean, it? to end this off, I think you could say that was explosive. It was an explosive review, <laughs> definitely. Anyway, and once again, thank you, Dennis, for helping us out. Yes. If you haven't already, go and check out some of our other reviews. We've done so many by now. And don't forget to put your comments in. What we, would you like to see? That's what we, we want to know. Want the so we can make stuff for exactly. you. If you've got any questions on this stuff, let us know. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe to this channel and comment below any suggestions of further reviews you would like to see.